I'm Steve Isaacs. It's Tuesday afternoon, and it's time for another edition of Most Wanted. I am, uh, I'm Steve Isaacs, of course, filling in for John Norris, who's in Paris. And uh, i got a great show for you on the way this afternoon. Besides counting down the top video requests of the day, we have special guests Adam Horowitz and John Doe from the new movie Roadside Profits. Woo! And uh, you remember Adam from the Beastie Boys, who are coming out with a, a new record real soon. And John Doe was the front man for legendary band X and for the day. And when we come back, we'll check out the top five video requests of the day. And we'll welcome special guests Adam Horowitz from the Beastie Boys and John Doe from X, who are both in Roadside Profits, a new movie. So don't go anywhere. So they had a lot of places like this in the 50s, huh? Oh, yeah. And every day after nursery school, I just hop on my tricycle, go on down to Muscle Beach and have milk and cookies with Elvis. Nevada Philly steak and cheddar. Cool. Bacon double cheeseburger. Alright, we are back with this Tuesday afternoon edition of Most Wanted. I'm Steve Isaacs, and uh, before we get back to the videos on the countdown, I'd like to bring out two special guests. Now, they both started out as members of underground, somewhat alternative bands, and now they're starring together in a new movie called Roadside Profits. I want you to welcome Adam Horowitz and John Doe. <laughs> How's it going, John? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Stunts! <laughs> you alright, bro? Yeah. Have a seat. <laughs> See, you know, that's the MTV trick stage, you know what I mean? That's, so, that's acting, my friend. Yeah. Uh, that was acting, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Wasn't that great? So, welcome to the show. I uh, want you uh, tell me about the movie Roadside Profits. Uh, it's coming out next week. In New York and <laughs> in April. Wow. It's coming out in April in LA. It's like 50 cities, I think they're going to put it in. So, so who do you both play? I play Joe. Mm -hmm. I play Sam. And Everyone? what's Joe like? Uh, Joe is looking for some some kind of friendship, except he didn't really know it. He thinks he's trying to get rid of these ashes for a friend of his. So, a friend, a friend dies playing a video game, and. Before he dies, he says he wants to see this bar in the El Dorado, El Dorado Bar. Right. And so your character says, I'm going to take his ashes and go across the country and do this for him. It's like his right. final wish. And then you hook up with Sam. He cool. kind of follows Sam. Me. Yeah. He kind, of, he kind of makes himself obnoxious and follows me and says, well, gee, where are you going to go? And can I go too? And so you guys had to wedge the acting yeah. in, uh, in between the music careers. You know, you're from the Beastie Boys, you're from X, and you've got the solo career. So what do you like doing uh, more, music or the acting? Which is more satisfying? Well, when you make music, you make it. And when you're in a movie, you're like just in the movie. That's right. So you like and making music better? No, you, you, whatever you're doing, you focus on. Uh -huh. I mean, they're, they're, they're rewarding in both ways. You can't do what you're doing in acting and music. Because you got to go out and you got to be big, you know, and you got to act crazy and, and mm -hmm. do all that kind of stuff. And in a movie, you can just sort of twitch your mouth and say something. <laughs> Let's look at some mouth twitching. Here's a clip from uh, Roadside Profits, and it's actually a road clip. So here it is. Hey, can I get one? Can I get smoke? Yeah. <clears throat> Started smoking when I was seven. Never buy them, though. When did you start? Pretty worried about your bike, huh? No, I'm worried about being out in the middle of the desert with somebody who doesn't have his own cigarettes. Oh. All right, that was a clip from Roadside Profits coming out soon. And uh, we're going to go into a video, and we'll be back to talk with uh, John and Adam and the director, uh, Abby Wool, of the film Roadside Prof Profits in a bit. Right now, here's TLC with number five on the countdown, Ain't Too Proud to Beg. All right. That was TLC with Ain't Too Proud to Beg in at number five. And this is John Doe, Adam Horowitz. And over here, we've got Abby Wool, who is the director of the film Roadside Profits, which they both star in. Thank you for stopping by. So, <laughs> so... In this film, you got you've got a lot of musicians and a lot of counter counterculture figures. You got Timothy Leary acting. You got John Cusack. Flea is in it. Yeah. Ubiquitous Flea. Yeah. And so, uh, what was the idea with getting so many like non-actors really to, to they mix were together? Right for the parts, and nobody, none of these musicians plays musicians in the mm -hmm. film. They all play just regular, regular people, and uh, they don't even listen to music. Except, Except for the two free students. Adam, you were like a, a musician. I mean, you were uh, an actor before you became a musician. 
that right? You, you studied, and, and your father was uh, you know, Israel Horovitz, and he kind of big influence. Uh, well, no, nah. no, <laughs> <laughs> no. My dad is a playwright, though, and he's a really good playwright. Well, we have evidence that you were an actor. Yeah. Uh, in the early days, we've got your high school. It's like your high school yearbook. Check it out, right no, there. Wait. That's you playing your your, your lip. What is it? Your lipides, your ripides. You're busted, man. <laughs> That's because of Bob Mack. <laughs> As Bob Mack Probably hooked us up, killer. he wrote the, the spin cover story. Huh? He wrote the Beastie Boys, uh, the Beastie Boys spin cover, and he, uh, he hooked us up with that picture. And Thanks, so, Bob. Um, how was it acting? How was it acting with Timothy Leary and, and you know all these like great people? Timothy Leary is is really impressive and like scares the hell out of you. <laughs> it's just okay. Yeah, it's nice talking to you. I'll see you later. Because <laughs> he's he's way out there, but I mean he's he's always changing. Mm -hmm. He's he's really old and he's always changing. He's always finding new stuff. Yeah, he's it's like amazing. he's awfully vital for. I mean, he's in his seventies, I think. He's scary. He's, he certainly he has some um, yeah. had a, had a life right experience. Through. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we got, unfortunately. But you should go check out the movie Roadside Profits. Kind of like an easy writer for the nineties, a counterculture kind of a thing. Thanks, John Joe. Thanks, Adam Horvitz. Thanks, Abby Wool. And uh, right now, let's get back to the countdown from the number two album in the country. Here's Nirvana with Come As You Are in at number four. Yeah! <laughs>